Hi everyone, this is Megan Bunsell, your cancer expert, and I'm the owner and CEO of Cancer Peace University. And we created Cancer Peace University with you in mind. It is our goal to set you free from the fear of cancer. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about an amazing protocol to support someone during a cancer diagnosis. But before I share the protocol, I need to lay the groundwork of how the protocol actually works on the basis of science. And so in this video, we're going to be diving into quantum physics and understanding the term quantum healing. Now with quantum physics principles, we live in a quantum universe and our bodies actually interact with a quantum universe that is either supporting our body for a function of health or bringing disease and dysfunction in our body through inharmonious frequencies. And so we need to understand a few principles about quantum physics and how our body engages with the quantum universe. Quantum physicists discovered that physical atoms are wobbling, spinning tops of energy and that each atom has a unique energetic component or a unique energy signature. If you were able to see atoms, atoms would look like a funnel cloud, like a tornado vortex of energy, spinning and radiating energy. And as you would move closer to the atoms, they would disappear because atoms are made up of invisible energy. The myth is that our body is primarily supported through chemistry because the reality is that your body is primarily influenced and shaped through quantum physics principles. Atoms are the building blocks of matter and atoms combined together to become molecules. Atoms will join another atom when they're in phase or in a harmonious frequency together and they'll join together to become molecules. The air is full of invisible atomic energy that's vibrating and the air is full of waves that are interacting and intersecting with one another. What are waves? Waves are vibrational patterns that combine together and waves are interacting with our body at different moments internally and externally to influence health and communication at the cellular level. Matter is literally a holographic illusion created by waves intersecting and interacting with one another. Your thoughts, your emotions, your memories even contain this vibrational energetic component. And when you have negative thought patterns, negative emotions, or traumatic memories that are unresolved, they can end up lodging in tissue and vibrating out of phase with the rest of the body. And phenomenon resonance is the concept that vibrational qualities within tissue will influence surrounding tissue to start vibrating in phase and in harmony with that frequency. And when that frequency is vibrating in harmony with the other frequency, this can influence the rest of your body energetically because your body relies on these vibrations for a current of energy that flows throughout the body through the channels of the meridians to influence and communicate to every cell within the body. And this is critical because the communication coming from these vibrational frequencies will influence and regulate DNA and RNA, protein synthesis, hormone secretion and nerve growth and literally communicate to every cell within your body. A study done at Oxford University by McClare found that electromagnetic frequencies was a hundred times more efficient at relaying environmental cues than physical constructs like hormones, neurotransmitters, or growth factors. In fact, electromagnetic frequencies move 186,000 miles per second where a diffusible chemical only moves one centimeter per second. And thus you can see that communication coming from these electromagnetic frequencies within the body are much more efficient 
and quicker at communicating what the body needs to know in order to adjust and make changes within the body. It, from 1941 to 1947, there were many studies looking at uterine cancer. And what researchers discovered was that women who had uterine cancer had a negative charge within their uterus, whereas women who did not have uterine cancer had a positive charge within their uterus. Diseased tissue, cancerous tissue, will communicate to the rest of the body through these vibrational patterns, just like a rock dropping in water and the ripple effect rippling through the rest of the body. And so we cannot discount the energetic component to healing and understanding how can we influence the energetic components within our body because disease is the result of inharmonious frequencies communicating to every cell within the body to influence the expression of disease within the body. And so we need to learn how to work with substances that can influence the current of energy flowing through our body. One way that the current is influenced is through electron donation. So certain things will donate electrons that will move the current of energy and allow for the charge and the voltage that cells need in order to resolve inharmonious frequencies and bring healing to different areas within the body. One practical way that doctors have used quantum physics principles is in treating kidney stones. Kidney stones are a crystal and kidney stones are influenced by harmonic resonance, harmonic constructive interference patterns. Doctors will use a frequency that it vibrates in phase with the kidney stones to cause the atoms in the kidney stones to increase their vibrational frequency to the point where the atoms will explode, the kidneys will dissolve, and the body will resolve the kidney stones. And a cancer doctor also used quantum physics principles. So now we're going to talk about the protocol that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. There's an amazing protocol that was discovered in the early 1930s by Dr. Royal Rife. Dr. Royal Rife was a cancer researcher in California beginning in the 1920s. He held a PhD in parasitology and what he discovered was that cancer cells have a different bacterial component than normal cells. Every cell in your body contains cellular bacteria called proteids or somatids. And what Dr. Royal Rife discovered was that cancer cells had cellular bacteria that had morphed and changed into many different phases to become like a fungal form of bacteria. And this caused him to realize that he needed to understand how to influence cancer cells on a quantum level in order to bring resolve to the body. He created light frequency therapy in the form of Rife technology and created the Rife machine. The Rife machine influences cancer in many different ways. One way that the Rife machine will influence cancer cells is that the Rife machine relies upon the photoelectric effect that Albert Einstein discovered in 1905. The photoelectric effect is that light absorption can cause cells to release electrons and to move the current of energy within the body, allowing for electrons to donate to cells that are losing their voltage. Similar to when your set rife machines will be able to cause cancer cells to vibrate in phase with the light frequency. So the light frequency of the rife machine is set up to have the same frequency of the cancer that the person has been diagnosed with and each cancer has a unique frequency and when the Rife machine is set up to have a harmonious constructive interference frequency this frequency will cause the cancer cells the atoms of the cancer cells to vibrate at a higher level to the point where the atoms will explode and dissolve helping the cancer cells to go through apoptosis or normal cell death also the Rife machine can 
cause the cancer cells to vibrate to cue to the immune system to hone in on the cancer cells and come to deal with the cancer cells within the body. So we have three ways that the Rife machine will support the body during a diagnosis. Now Dr. Royal Rife actually had a human study set up by the AMA in 1934. They sent terminally ill cancer patients that had no other options to work with Dr. Royal Rife. And 100% of the terminally ill cancer patients that were sent by the AMA went into remission. There was a banquet held in the honor of Dr. Royal Rife called To End All Diseases. And he was honored for his discovery and his contribution to science and the cancer world. Shortly after, Morse Fishbin, the head of the AMA at the time, offered to buy out the Rife technology from Dr. Royal Rife. When he offered to buy out Dr. Royal Rife, Dr. Royal Rife refused out of a concern that the people that needed it the most would not receive the benefits of the therapy, and he didn't trust Morris Fishman's motives. So when Dr. Royal Rife refused, there was a cascade of events that occurred after this. A lawsuit was made against the company creating the Rife machine, causing the company creating the Rife machine to go into bankruptcy. Then, people who had been in collaboration with Dr. Earl Reif and who knew of his discovery were paid off and they actually pretended like they did not know Dr. Earl Reif and his career was sabotaged. He was unable to continue with his scientific pursuits after this moment and there have been other people who have continued with Reif technology and there are some doctors using Reif technology and using the original source of the Rife technology right now with people diagnosed with cancer. Hopefully this encourages you that there are options to support during a cancer diagnosis and helps you understand that your body in interacts with the quantum universe and that we need to address this energetic component to healing. The Rife machine is one way to address healing. There are other ways to address healing that I will talk about in future videos when we have more time to talk about influences with quantum healing within the body. If you are a holistic practitioner and you want to be a Cancer Peace University instructor, I'm going to be opening my program in March of 2019 to train more Cancer Peace University instructors. My enrollment is open now. If you'd like to enroll and set up a consult, PM me, send me a personal message, or email me at cancerpeaceuniversity at gmail.com to set up a free 20-minute consult. I can share more about Cancer Peace University and how I'm training holistic practitioners to be able to be the expert in holistic approaches to cancer, to help with pre cancer prevention, and to help support during a diagnosis. You can also receive a free copy of my book, What is Cancer? The first person to message me for a consult, I will send a free book, What is Cancer? And I hope that this video has helped you and I will see you again next week. Thank you.